hello students how are you all i hope you all are fine and must be taking care of yourself so class 9 your first chapter is computer basics theek hai in this chapter you will be studying generation of a computer characteristic of a computer different components of a computer system input devices how cpu works different types of memory and output devices now let's move ahead your very first topic is history of computer now you know in each generation there is a technological advancement theek hai it changed the way how computer works in every generation computer becomes smaller theek hai cheaper more powerful i am erasing everything powerful पावर फुल ठीक है एंड मोर एफिशियंट सो फर्स्ट वी विल स्टडी जनरेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर ठीक है द वेरी फर्स्ट जनरेशन इज फर्स्ट जनरेशन ठीक है एंड इट्स टाइम लाइन वॉज फ्रॉम नाइनटीन फोर्टी टू नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स ठीक है इन दिस जनरेशन वैक्यूम ट्यूब्स वर यूज वैक्यूम ट्यूब्स वर used ठीक है so technology used was vacuum tubes now let me tell you its feature they occupy lot of space ठीक है and they were expensive to operate they use a lot of electricity and generate large amount of heat the speed of these computers are very slow now let's see its example एनीक एडवैक यूनिवैक एंड मार्क वन दीज आर द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ फर्स्ट जनरेशन कंप्यूटर नाउ इन सेकेंड जनरेशन ट्रांजिस्टर्स वर यूज ठीक है एंड इट्स टाइम लाइज वॉज फ्रॉम नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स टू नाइनटीन सिक्सटी थ्री ठीक है एंड इट्स फीचर्स वर दे वर स्मॉल फास्टर एज कंपेयर टू फर्स्ट जनरेशन कंप्यूटर एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट uh in um, every generation computers become smaller cheaper and more powerful theek hai now they were cheaper to maintain as compared to first generation computer and its example univac 3 ibm 1401 ibm 700 and ncr 300 series now third generation computer third generation computers these are ics technology used for ics ic stands for integrated circuit they could contain thousands of transistors theek okay? hai they could contain thousands of transistor and its timeline was from 1964 to 1971 theek okay? hai and it their features was they were faster and more efficient than second generation computer the user communicate with the using uh, with the help of keyboard and monitor yani in this generation keyboards and mouse uh, monitors were introduced theek okay? hai so they uses and also they use an operating system theek okay? hai which allow different application to run at a time theek okay? hai now see the examples ibm 360 ICL 1900, Univac 1108 and Univac AC 9000. Now let's move ahead. Fourth generation, ठीक है? You are very familiar with this fourth generation, the PC, ठीक है? The lab uh, you use, ठीक है? At uh, at your home in computer lab. They are from fourth generation, ठीक है? The timeline, 1972 to present. in this generation the technology used was microprocessor theek hai microprocessor are developed by combining thousands of integrated circuits see thousands of integrated circuits combined to form a single vlsi that is very large scale integration theek hai and ulsi ultra large scale integration theek hai and their features are they are smaller energy efficient and more reliable theek okay? hai 
they are extremely powerful and can process millions of instruction in fraction of a second theek hai we can form computer network using these computers theek hai now see the examples you are familiar with the example desktop computer apple macintosh and ibm pc now let's move ahead fifth generation computer theek hai the technology they use ai and timeline is present and beyond that means in future we will be using fifth generation theek hai ai right now we are using aisa nahi hai ki we are not using right now ai ai stands for artificial intelligence theek hai now scientists are currently currently working on ai theek hai in fifth generation compu uh, computer may have a ability of human intelligence and reasoning theek hai it can decide on its own and take decision the ex an example is robotics now we are done with generation of a computer let's move to the another topic characteristics of a computer theek hai computer have certain characteristic first one is speed second accuracy diligence high storage versatility and faster communication and enhanced connectivity theek hai i will be explaining you every topic in uh, every characteristic in detail now speed a computer can perform large number of calculation fraction of second that you all know so it has uh, much powerful speed as compared to us theek hai now next is accuracy accuracy mean a computer always give correct result so if we give correct input the computer will always uh, perform accurate result now the third characteristic is diligence now what is diligence computer can uh, does not get tired computer does not get tired theek hai it keep it can keep working for long hours theek hai next is high storage that means the computer can store large amount of data and programs theek hai we can also retrieve that data now versatility that means computer can perform variety of song a uh, variety of tasks theek hai that means it uh, can be used at uh, various places such as homes hospital banks office school etc theek hai now faster communication enhanced connectivity using computer we can exchange information with people all over the globe theek hai so we are done with the characteristics of a computer now let's move ahead components of computer system see this is the block diagram of computer that input cpu output theek hai you know computer is an electronic device that work according to instruction given by us theek hai it accept the data process the data and give us the desired output now this is called input output cycle theek hai that means uh now before moving ahead now you know computer runs on electricity it has two states on and off where on stands for 1 theek hai and off stands for 0 that uh, that is on is for 1 and off is for 0 theek hai it is called binary language theek hai it is called binary language now an input device takes the data and instruction and converts them into binary form theek hai and this ins uh, these instruction and pass to the cpu theek hai cpu process these instruction theek hai perform the calculation logical operation and so on and after this theek hai it is then passed to output devices and output devices takes this data in binary form and converts into user readable form theek hai this is how computer system works i'll explain you again again now an input device takes the data and instruction from us ठीक है एंड कन्वर्ट्स दैम इन टू बाइनरी सिग्नल्स ठीक है 
and then pass to the CPU where CPU process those instruction perform the necessary calculation logical operation and after that output this uh, device take this data okay and convert take this data in binary form and convert in the form in a use uh, uh, user readable form okay this is function of ipo cycle this is how whole computer system works okay although i'll explain everything in detail also take a screenshot of this picture now let's move ahead input device now i know you all are familiar with input device that an input device takes the data and instruction from us and converts them into binary form okay so uh, we will first study few common input devices the very first common input device is keyboard you all are familiar with this keyboard okay a keyboard is actually most widely used input device okay now see the letters on the keyboard are not arranged in alphabetical order that you already know it is called qwerty keyboard it is called qwerty keyboard okay see whenever how keyboard work as an input device see whenever we press any key okay the code of the key is sent to cpu in binary form let me raise everything whenever we press any key the code of the key for example any key is sent to the cpu in binary form okay that is how uh, an input device take data from us and converts them into binary form okay now you know computer is connected to computer through cord or through wireless connection okay this is how keyboard works now next common input device is mouse now you know mouse is a point pointing device okay with two or three buttons okay this is left button this is right button okay it let us point and select icons menus and other control okay now how mouse how mouse works as an input device see mouse converts the motion of our hand whenever we um, move this mouse whenever we move this mouse it converts the motion of our hands to binary signals now whenever we move our hand it converts the motion of our hand to binary single signal so that computer can understand okay so the mouse pointer on monitor moves according to the movement of the mouse okay so various types of mouse are used these days okay we can uh, move a mouse we can move a page up and page down by moving this scroll wheel okay now let's move ahead we scanner scanner is also most commonly used input device now it is a device that is used for converting printed document we place our printed document here okay this is actually a flat bed scanner okay we keep our printed document here okay it convert that printed document it actually convert that printed document into electronic form it convert it's actually make a digital copy of it okay so that digital copy can be edited and sent as an attachment to emails or saved okay now text is micr that is magnetic ink character reader okay now what is this device see this device is specially used in banks okay you must have seen this pesh this check okay this check has some text written okay this text is written in special ink okay this text is uh, written in with special ink that is magnetic ink okay see so this ma micr device magnetic ink character reader is used to recognize that text okay and converts that uh, convert that text okay so this is magnetic information this is magnetic information now see this okay you must have seen the check
and this MICR convert this magnetic ink to characters. Now next device is touch screen. You all are familiar with touch screen. Okay, that what is touch screen? Uh, the smartphone you are currently using is touch screen. Okay. See, touch screen is a display screen that allow user to interact with the computer. Okay. It allows the user to interact with the computer using their fingers. Now, these days touch screens are commonly used. Okay. ATM at ATM such as ticket collection terminals and your smartphones. So you all are familiar with touch screen. Now, digital camera. Now, what is digital camera? You know what is digital camera? That it captures the image or videos and store them in digital fo uh, digital format. Okay. It is not uh, similar as conventional uh, camera. Okay. It capture the image or video and store them in digital format. Okay. So that we can modify that image. So in these day, uh, various smartphones we use has inbuilt a uh, digital camera now next is barcode reader you are familiar with barcode reader okay it is used in various shops such as um, big retail shop such big bazaar reliance and so on okay what they do they have this barcode reader they scan these barcode okay this barcode is of various thick and thin line okay and scan them, scan these code so that they get the uh, details about the product. Okay. Now this is barcode reader. Next, web camera. See, web camera is a video camera that allow user allow user to record live video and send it across the location through internet. Okay. Um, these days actually. Uh, most computer and laptops are come with a uh, inbuilt camera okay we have inbuilt camera we have inbuilt camera in our phone also okay you uh, we use this uh, we are using zoom app okay okay uh, by using our front camera okay they can act as web camera now next device is biometric device you are familiar with this biometric device that it is capable for uh, capable of identifying person ID on the basis of distinctive uh, physical characteristic. Okay, so uh, it can detect person's fingerprint, faces, iris, voice, hand. Remember, जब आप आधार कार्ड बनवाने गए थे, ठीक है? So आपके biometric entries ली गई थी, ठीक है? Using this biometric device, ठीक है? Now, that's it for today. I hope you enjoy the session. Okay. In next video, I'll continue this chapter. Take care and stay safe. Thank you so much.